Ireland. Apparently, uh, Irish people are going to vote today on a constitutional amendment. Now, what's interesting about this is that there are Irish citizens who are flying back to their homeland so that they are able to vote. There are stories of people who are in England, who are in Canada, who are in America for whatever reason. They are delaying vacations. They are taking uh, the extraordinary measures who are living abroad but still have Irish uh, citizenship to fly back to vote on this very contentious issue. And the question is going to be very simply uh, whether or not uh, they will repeal the Eighth Amendment of the Irish Constitution, which bans abortion in nearly all circumstances. Um, the government is set to push legislation that would legalize abortion in the first 12 weeks of pregnancy. This is extraordinary. Ireland is overwhelmingly I had, Catholic. I had no idea in the first place that they banned abortions only in certain circumstances. Yeah, and it was like in the, in the 80s, I believe. Tom Rivers joins us live in London. Good morning, Tom Rivers. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, you're right. It's uh, all eyes on on Ireland, and there's no exit polls. So uh, we've got to wait again till probably Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening local time here to find out the result. And uh, by indications earlier in the past week or two, it's going to be a pretty close vote. So we'll have to wait and see. Now, why is this coming up now? coming in now because something like nine Irish women per day uh, fly over to the UK in essence outsourcing abortion to another country because Ireland hasn't, if you will, joined up with the rest of Europe in, in allowing women to control their own bodies. That really is a central question in this whole referendum. So uh, again, uh, you've got on one poll, you've got the old poll of the the influence of the Catholic Church, which has really been knocked down over the past few decades based upon sex abuse uh, stories coming out of Ireland. So that's eroding. On the other hand, though, that there's still some sway there. The other side, you've got the urban versus rural dichotomy going on there, the younger versus the older. And uh, we'll see what shakes out. Just in 2015, in the pretty conservative country, uh, they legalized same-sex abortion, uh, excuse me, same-sex marriage. So we'll see what happens this time around. Now, is this the first time they're voting on this issue of abortion? There was a, a legal move in 92, uh, a legal challenge that basically allowed Irish women to, to fly off to wherever to have an abortion. Uh, that was, a, if you will, a... Uh, a change of precedent in the 1983 uh, Eighth Amendment to the Constitution. So it's, it's been on the books for a long, long period of time. And as I say, we'll see what shakes out on Saturday. As I say, the vote should be pretty close. And, and as I heard your intro, they are asking some people to come back to the country to, to vote. It's going to be that close. Yeah. Uh, now, just, just so we know the whole particulars of this, a vote yes is a vote yep. to repeal the Eighth Amendment. Correct. Exactly. Exactly. So you and uh, if, if in fact they win, if the Yes campaign wins, what happens then? It is then thrown to Parliament to then work up a new bill, legislation, and the uh, the Prime Minister in Ireland has come forward saying that uh, probably the language would be of the sort that would allow abortions for the first twelve weeks, which is still. Um, pretty conservative compared to to other countries, certainly here in the UK. Yeah. Uh, uh, where is the prime minister? Is he in favor of this, or, or where is he politically on this? Yeah, he's he's certainly in favor of this. Uh, his health minister is in favor of this, and lining up on the other side, you have uh, people that are either in the church or, if you will, supporting the church position, the Catholic position. That would be the no campaign. Mm, pretty extraordinary stuff. Tom Rivers live in London. Tom, thanks for the insights.